Hi friends, it's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here with my baby Ellie today, my Yorkshire Terrier. Um, her hair is just sticking up a little bit today, kind of funny. She was just outside having a good time and I see that her hair is going a little crooked. So how are you guys today? Happy Wednesday. I'm going to um, make sure that we're transmitting the way we should. It always makes me happy when all my technology works. Okay, I see that we are. Oh, that's a relief. I always love it when our, our technology works really well. So welcome, welcome. And I hope you're having a good week. I'm having a busy week. Um, toward the end of this week, we have Stampin' Up! is having on stage. And it's virtual again, like it's been for a couple of years now because of you know what. Um, but it's a, kind of our convention. Um, and actually, I'm going to just warn you that another technical thing happened. Um, there was an update to my Apple phone and my uh, MacBook. And so now I don't know where to put the Do Not Disturb. I usually, before I start on my Facebook Lives with you, I click Do Not Disturb so no phone calls come in, no texting comes through. So I couldn't find it. It's like they've moved the Do Not Disturb. So I just want to let you guys know that if a phone call comes in or something, we're just going to, I'm going to try to get rid of it. Um, and I'll have to find that Do Not Disturb button. Um, so I'm really sorry about that. So anyway. Um, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, Stampin' Up! is having, we're having our big kind of annual convention for demonstrators, and I think they said there are like 10,000 people that are attending. I may not have gotten that right. It sounds so big. So um, anyway, lots of us are attending. We're going to hear, um, we're going to see new products. That's the biggest thing is we're going to see the new products. Hey, Anthony, good to see you. Uh, we're going to see the new products. Um, for the spring catalog, the spring mini, which is going to be January to June, and we're going to get our hands on them, we're going to get to play with them, we're going to get to order them. I'm really excited about that. Um, and we get to see demonstrations and hear helpful tips, and so I'm really excited. I've got 12 members of my um, my sweet stampers team who will be going will be all attending like from our own computers um, a couple of us are getting together to watch together um, but most people are at their own homes so it won't be like we'll be all together in person like we used to which i loved but um, it's the best we can do under the circumstances so we're all super excited okay anthony thank you for popping on yes you can catch on the on the replay. Um, Anthony lives in London, and so it's a big deal if he even pops on at all. I think it's amazing. So that's what is happening with me this week. I'm super excited. So on Friday, we won't be having a Facebook Live because I'll be attending on stage, and I'll be posting what I can for you to see and letting you know what I what I can tell you. Some of it becomes kind of secret, but. Um, I'll let you know everything I can. I'm really super excited about it. So that's one new thing. Let's see, prizes. We should talk about prizes. I'm gonna go ahead and put Ellie down now. So prizes. The prize from last week is a Darling Notebook. It's the Pressed Petals Journal that is not available anymore, but a super cute journal that you could give as a gift. I've decorated these beautifully and give them as a little diary or a little thank you booklet. Um, and the winner was D Westerman, one of my YouTube gals. So D, please let me know your address and where I can send this and I'll get it out to you right away. And so I decided to have kind of a new policy so that, especially with the YouTube people, because I don't think they see it quite as much as the face, my Facebook people. So a new policy is the entry, you write prize on the comments if you want a prize, if you want a prize. And the entry period is from 
like today till next Wednesday morning because I don't even check it until I'm ready to come on and then I write I go through and see who all wants a prize I run the random number generator and that person gets gets the prize so you've got a week to enter and write down prize in the comments on Facebook or YouTube and then after I announce it so like today I'm announcing this for Dee Westerman and she will have one week from today till the 24th to uh, redeem her prize otherwise it's going to go back in my prize um, I have a bin for prizes it's a cute little pink bin and all my prizes go in there so if D responds it's D period Patricia do you happen to know her hi Lori McNabb excellent that you figured it out okay so it's D period let me know if you know her um, but she did leave a comment over on over on YouTube okay so that's the deal now for next week the prize for next Wednesday I have one package left of the be dazzling six by six specialty paper that was um, one of our celebration items and very sought after and they ran, ran out of it and it's perfect for the holidays and I found one hi Kay I found one pack so if you want this this time if you want this prize put down prize you have a week to enter and then you have a week um, after the week after to kind of redeem it or let me know your address so I can send it to you okay the be dazzling paper everybody wants it I know okay okay Patricia if you know her let let her know thank you um, a big deal coming up that I want you all to know about um, we're having a season Stampin' Up! is having a seasonal sale. It's going to be from next Tuesday the 16th to Thursday the 18th. It'll be three days long and it's from items in the annual catalog in only, not the, not the holiday mini, but here is what's on sale. 10% off card stock, 15% off ink pads. Now ink pads individually, they're not selling the, the ink pad group like you can't get the uh, the subtles group of ink pads that's not included you'd have to get them separately and you would get 15% off the ink pads and 20% off dies you guys that is huge dies are expensive they're in the 30s most of them so 20% off dies that's huge so this sale goes from the 16th to the 18th those three days I'll be telling you a lot more about it and po posting stuff on Facebook and on my blog um, so I I want you to take advantage of this especially the die special and if you need to stock up on cardstock 10% off on all cardstock it must be in the annual catalog but definitely and if you use my host code for the month which is right above here for my Facebook people for YouTube people hmm I don't know if I put my host code on there I'll try to remember to do that for my YouTube people and uh, you'll get my free gift for the month which is the some holiday jewels on top of your sale price so and there's a link to my store my online store be sure that you order th through me to get the host code gift but it's a great sale I'm already writing down it's an essentials kind of sale essentials the cardstock the ink and the dies Wow okay um, next thing don't forget about Eden's garden I just have this little flyer if you can see it um, stamp set and dies are early release and they'll be uh, available all through the mini catalog in the spring but the beautiful papers and the jewels we're going to use today I just got my jewels look at this you guys you could you'll be able to see them better when I have them when I turn the camera down love love um, so those and the cotton paper all those are available only until I think it's the end of the year but you want to get those and um, then the final thing is the ultimate bundle special which is just this month through November 30th for $75 you get $125 worth of product of your choice it's called the starter kit no obligation after that but you'll want to order after that because after that you'll get 20% off and you know I was thinking about this so if you're a demonstrator now or if you join in the next couple days when that seasonal sale comes around you'll get 
you'll already be your demonstrator, you'll already have your starter kit, and then everything you buy is 20% off. So let's take the card stock that's going to be 10% off the 16th through the 18th. So basically you would get your 20% off for being a demonstrator, then you'd get 10 more percent off because it's 10% off during the sale. So that's 30% off. Now, if you've got dies, if you're already a demonstrator and you get dies, which are 20% off during the sale, you already get 20% off. Then you get 20% off for the sale, 40% off dies. It's totally worth it to join. You become a part of my wonderful team of sweet stampers, and I see one on here already. Two is Sue Moore, and I saw Lori McNabb. So this is a great time to join. And... $125 in product of your choice for only $75 to get the starter kit to start. It all ships to you free. I have a link up above or email me if you have questions. Peggy at prettypapercards.com. Okay, let's get going. I'm going to switch you down now. Um, let me see if we can get this going. Okay, now I've had a special request. I have posted this a week or two ago on my blog and this is a fun Christmas tree card where you open it up and the tree is actually on the inside and it peeks through the die cut portion on the outside thank you Linda good to see you and Pam good to see you too I love seeing you girls on here okay so I had a special request to teach how to do this card. So that's what we're gonna do, but we're gonna do it a little bit differently because I've already posted this one, so I changed it up a little bit. And the one we're gonna make today looks like this. Um, it uses the Whimsy and Wonder um, bundle, the Whimsical Tree stamp set, and the dies, which are called uh, Christmas Tree dies. So here's the stamp set we're gonna be using, Whimsical Trees. And the dies are Christmas tree dies, and I've got all kinds, I've got them kind of messy here today because I've been playing around with stuff. But this is the die we're gonna use today right here, so I'll just get it out. And so let's get started because I wanna show you how to do it, and we're gonna use our big, um, I'm gonna use the big boss today, the big stamp and cut and emboss machine. Now, I wanted to show you from the beginning how we're gonna do this. Hi, Roz, good to see you. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm reading what Patricia is saying about sharing with a friend. So when you start with your card base, I just want to show you, um, we're going to die cut the card base. And I already have it scored. And so what I'm going to do is I want to um, really burnish that fold. So let me get it, see if I can get it all even and burnish that fold. And the reason is that we want to see this when we run it through our die cutting machine, our stamp and cut and emboss machine. Okay, so let me get the big boss up here. And this is kind of one of the main tricks to this. So let me see if I can get it so that you can see. Okay. And I'm going to stand up um, to get it lined up. So this is the big machine and you want it to be the big machine because you want it to, you need the entire card base to fit through here. Okay, now, um, I, this is what I figured out. Someone, some of the rest of you might be really much smarter. But so this is going to be the front of your card right here. Okay, so I'm going to lay this down like this. And this is going to be the top of my front. So I'm going to put the Christmas tree on the front of the card. And I'm going to try to get it in the middle. And this is a little bit the part that's just a tiny bit tricky. So we've got the Christmas tree kind of equal distance from both ends and from the top and the bottom, and I think that looks pretty good. I don't generally use washi tape. I just put it down and then hold it. Okay, and now we're going to run it through. And so what that's doing is it's cutting the tree out on the front of the card. So let's see. There we go. There's our tree. And we want to keep our little, um, the tree that's cut out because we're going to use that too. All right, let me move this big boss down. 
and then I'll sit back down with you. Alrighty, now we're now we're cooking. Okay, so here's our here's the base of our card. Now you might think it looks a tiny bit crooked. Um, and it might be a tiny bit crooked, but you know what? It's totally okay, because I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do about that. I guess I should have left the big boss up. So next we're gonna take a piece that is gonna be our frame. So you can see on the first, the card I've already posted, I used, I think that looks like shaded spruce, and on the one today I'm using Blushing Bride to create a frame there. So I have here somewhere, um, oh dear. I have the die, the rectangular stitch die. <laughs> I did have it. Let me keep checking. Oh my goodness gracious. This is what happens when you do this stuff. Okay, rectangular stitch die. Here it is at the very bottom of the pile. Oh, you guys. What, um, what are you going to do with me? I don't even know. Okay. So we have to get back our, our big boss, and what we're going to do is use the rectangular stitch die, um, and this one, let me give you the measurements here, because they're a whole set, right? And this one is four, no, sorry, the paper is four by five and a quarter. That's the way you want to cut your paper, and then the die is about, the opening is three by four and a quarter. So that's the, the die that you want. And then we're just going to put it on here. Now you know that if you, if you turn your uh, dies, if you put them at an angle so they're not going straight, you don't get that big clunk when you run things through your Big Shot or your stamp and Cut and Emboss machine. That's just a little tip for you. So I'm going to try to get this pretty even there. And then we're going to run this through. And this is the stitched rectangular dies. They might be called rectangular stitched. And I'll show you here in a second. Hi, Allison. Good to see you. I'm going to show you why it's important to use the rectangular stitch dies. So here we go. And now I want to show you. This is going to be our frame. And if you can tell, there's some nice stitching right along there. And then this piece is gonna go inside our card, and this has the nice stitching too, because these rectangular, they're called stitched rectangular, I guess. They have double stitching, once on the outside of the cut and once on the inside of the cut. So that is fabulous. So that's what we want. So here's our card where we cut out the tree, and now what we're gonna do is put our little frame on there. And you might think, okay, my tree might look a little bit crooked, but we are going to make it look perfect. You won't need to worry. So I'm just going to use a little bit of my, I might even start calling this magic glue because I use it so much. It's multi-purpose glue. But I might start calling it magic glue. I don't know, just for fun. Okay, so now I'm going to put this down as a frame and adhere it to the front of my card just like that. Okay, there we go. So now we have the front of our card and we have the tree cut out. Now, um, what we're gonna do is put our piece, our rectangle that we did cut out, and we're gonna put that on the inside and all you need to do is put it, you know, like you would anything else, um, equal distance from all sides the best you can, and glue. we're gonna glue this down. And this is going to be the background for the tree on the inside. Just kind of like that. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Close enough is close enough. We don't want to stress ourselves out. I've had a bit of a stressful week. I had a little tiny fender bender. Someone ran into me at a stoplight. And so I've been just a little all week. <laughs> that happened on Monday. So I've had a, just a little, it's not a big deal. It was just a little bit of a little shaking. Um, okay, so we're going to use Misty Moonlight and Blushing Bride inks today, mostly because I'm trying to do the, do it like, um, kind of like the Whimsy and Wonder uh, 
Sweet, which is Blushing Bride um, and Misty Moonlight and some other colors. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to stamp our tree. We're going to stamp it on the tree that we cut out. And here's the stamp from the uh, Whimsical Trees stamp set. And I'm going to get that um, inked up in the Misty Moonlight ink. Now I'm going to turn it sideways just so that I can see. And you know what? If you don't get it on perfect, don't even worry. Because I'm going to show you what we're going to do after. But you can get it pretty close. Okay, and don't worry, I didn't get it on that left side, but that's totally okay. We're not going to stress. I'll show you what we're going to do. Because we're not stressing, we're, we're wanting to relax while we make cards today. So here's our Blushing Bride. Now, I want to show you kind of the difference. I, I have to say, I think the red dots, this is the dot, the tree. The, these are really kind of supposed to be ornaments. It's a dotted tree, the same size stamp. And you could see it a lot better in the red. You can see the dotted ornaments a lot better on that card. But because I'm trying to keep to this theme, color theme of the Blushing Bride and the Misty Moonlight, I'm doing it out of Blushing Bride today. And we're gonna add some, uh, some of those new uh, bling jewels to increase the, the bling factor. Okay, so now I'm going to hold it down like this just for myself, actually. And I'm going to stamp that, and it stamps on the little ornaments. I don't know, can you see? They're not, they're just not as bright as red, but they're okay. <laughs> Pam, typing prize is for this week's prize, which is um, the Be Dazzling paper from celebration I found a I found a pack and so that's what they're typing prize for all right so now we have our tree and you can see that there is a little bit of an edge where I didn't stamp it perfectly so I'm going to trim that off and you know what it actually works out pretty well because then it helps it to go through that hole on the front of the card much better so I'm just trimming that side down and then we're going to just adhere it with dimensionals right onto the inside of our card. Okay. So now, look how it fits right inside there. Isn't that cute? So all you need to do at this point is get out your Stampin' Dimensionals. And it'll, it'll look perfect on the inside too. That's the fun thing about it. And so we're going to put some dimensionals on our tree so that it sticks up and out of the card. And I've been putting two on the bottom, one in the center, and one kind of as, about as close as I can get it at the top. So I've got four dimensionals going on there. And then all we do is hover over the front of the card, okay? And we just set it right in there. Let's see. Yep, it fits perfectly. And it may be off just a tiny, tiny, but it isn't making a difference at all. I think it came out great. Now, you still may think, and I think when I look at this, that that is going down a little bit. But not to worry. We're going to stamp our sentiment. And let me get my little piece here. Here's our sentiment piece. And the sentiment we're using is Let Your Heart Be Light from the Whimsical Trees stamp set. And we're going to stamp it in the darker, misty moonlight. And let me be sure I get it straight now. I do not put labels on my stamps. Um, some people call it stamping naked. Um, actually, I like it better. I find that things turn out a little bit better um, because I invariably put my labels on crooked. <laughs> All righty. Now, I might have to put my head right over this to get it on just straight. There it is. Let your heart be light. It's an easy stamp to stamp. It doesn't really get, go crooked. Now, I've already cut this piece. This piece is one half inch wide and it's four and a, excuse me, yes, one half inch wide this way and four and a quarter this way so that it will cover the entire card from left to right, okay? 
And what we're going to do is we're just going to cover the tiny bit of the base right there and put it on with dimensionals. And this is what ends up making your card look straight. It makes your tree look straight. It makes up for any little bits of crookedness if you're a perfectionist. Um, this will straighten it out. Okay, so this is going to be straight, but we're going to put it right over the edge of that card base from left to right. And there we go. It looks perfect, doesn't it? Whoops, let me put it up a little bit. See how nice that looks? It looks really straight. And the only thing left, let's look at the inside. Look at how cute your inside is. And all that's left is to um, decorate it. So what I'm gonna do is, well, I'm gonna look at my sample here, wherever that went. Oh, I just have these problems. I just lose things right in front of me. That's so silly. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Yes, I cut out some little gifts. So the uh, Whimsy and Wonder uh, Designer Series paper has one of the sheets has a whole bunch of little gifts on it. So I went ahead and fussy cut some of those little gifts and we're gonna just put them on the bottom here as if they're underneath the tree. Isn't that gonna be fun? So I've got my dimensionals and let me just play around with these and see how I wanna do it. I think I'm gonna put this one on the left because I don't want it to run into, I don't want it to overwhelm the words there at all. Um, okay, so I'm just going to put one dimensional down on the bottom of that little gift and I'm going to put it right on there and it's still, you know, it doesn't go past the card edge but it allows the sentiment to show and then I think I'll tuck one up under there. Let's see. And I might glue this one down. The one thing to be careful of is you don't want it to show, like if we put it on the inside too much, you see that showing on the inside? We don't want that to happen. So we wanna be a little bit careful about that. Let's see, let me see. I wanna get it just a bit in there. Let's double check and make sure that isn't showing. No, that isn't showing. Okay, so now we know how we're gonna put it on. Put a little bit of glue on there, just a tiny. And we're going to tuck it right up under here. Just trying to keep it low. Okay, there we go. And then this one we'll put on top and have it raised up a little bit. So let's see where we want to put our dimensional. I think we'll put it in this corner down here. That's the trick is to put the dimensional not on the sentiment strip, but below or above it. Let's see. Let's... Oh, well, okay. It's decided it wants to be right there. Okay. Isn't that just getting so adorable? Now we're going to put on our jewels. And like I told you, I just got these garden gems. Pink and pool party are my favorite Christmas colors this year. Oh, excellent. Bernay, good to see you. I haven't, I might have seen you here before, but I'm glad you popped on. And what a great comment. Yes, pool party. So these are the garden gems that come as part of the Eden Suite, um, Eden's Garden Suite. And what I really like is, I want to see if you can see it. Can you see these? Put them this way. They're kind of oblong, really, really pretty. And I think they look real pretty in a way as a star on top of the tree. Let me see. I like, I try to put my things on. I work pretty well with scissors. And so I usually use my scissors. Let's see. Look how pretty that looks, right? I'll hold it up. See that? Isn't that pretty? And then these, um, the rest of these jewels are different sizes, small and large. And they're kind of just multicolored. And so I'm gonna put a few on the tree since I don't think, you know, since these little dots don't show as much as that red did, I wanted to get a few more ornament looking ones on the tree. And you can just do whatever you want here. 
and then we might actually, let's put a big one right on this gift right here, just for fun. So what do you think? Isn't that just a really cute little card? And it's easy, you know, once you, all you have to do is cut out that tree from your card base and frame it and you're done. It's really a quick card because you use, you use the inside of the Blushing Bride as well as the outside. Now I do have a, an envelope here. Let's stamp our envelope because you know I like to do that. Let's see, where is the blank Okay, here we go. And well, yeah, we'll use the Let Your Heart Be Light. I like that. I was going to use, an, there's a real cute little Christmas tree in this stamp set that I was thinking of, but I think we'll go ahead with Let Your Heart Be Light. And we'll just stamp that in the misty moonlight. Isn't that, that's just kind of nice. It just gives a nice little preview of what's going to be inside. So there's your card, and here's the one in, um, in green and red, the more traditional Christmas colors, so you can see how they look together. Which one do you guys like best? You like the pink or the green? Truthfully, even though pink is my favorite color, I really think I like the, the green. Lori, you love this card. I hope that helped you. Did that help you learn how to make it better? Because um, she was, I heard that she was asking about exactly how to make it, so... Um, I thought maybe some of the rest of you would like to know also. So don't forget, I'm gonna come back now. And I wanna remind you, Friday I won't be on, I won't have a Facebook Live because I'll be at on stage. But don't forget about the sale next week, the seasonal sale, um, the 16th through the 18th, but I'll be reminding you. And also, um, it's a great time to sign up for it and get the starter kit. $125 of product for only $75. Give it to yourself as a Christmas present. You can do it. I, I do that stuff all the time. I give something to myself. Um, so I'm just anxious to, um, to get going with my on stage and I'll be posting all kinds of things. Everything I can post, I will. We'll be letting you know I'll be watching with my friend and fellow demonstrator Robin. So we'll be posting some fun pictures and stuff. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week and I'll see you next Wednesday. Thank you so much for stopping by. Bye-bye.